that one. That'll get it done. What are you so happy about? Well, there were some electrical issues here, but I fixed them by putting a whole bunch of dielectric grease inside this connector here. This stuff is magic, you know? I hate to burst your bubble, but putting dielectric grease on terminals and connectors does not improve the conductivity on its own. That's crazy talk. Here, this YouTube video explains this really well. It's from the Rooster Life TV YouTube channel. The guy calls himself Rooster. No one really knows why, I don't know why. Anyway, you should check it out, it's really helpful. I still think you're wrong, but I'll give it a look because that's what bros do. High five? There's a common idea out there that dielectric grease improves conductivity between connections. I have some bad news though, and it'll surely burst your bubble but it will lead to learning and a better bubble in the future. Here it is. Dielectric grease is not conductive. Let me repeat that. Dielectric grease is not conductive. And I can prove it. For starters, here's the label on the dielectric grease bottle. Nowhere does it say this product improves conductivity. Many of you are probably saying, but I disconnected my connector and applied the dielectric grease and reconnected it and it works better. And, and dielectric had electric in the name and it has to be conductive. All I have to say to you is, looks in the English language can both be deceiving. Before diving in further, we need to discuss how connections lose conductivity in the simplest of terms. Touch any two common pieces of metal together and an electric current will pass between them with ease. A connector keeps these two pieces pressed against each other, ensuring reliable contact. Over time, exposure to the air and the elements will cause oxidation and corrosion on these metals and their contact surfaces. Oxidation and corrosion are not good conductors of electricity. This leads to the connection becoming less conductive and eventually failing. This is where the dielectric grease comes in. The only purpose of the grease is to prevent the air and the elements from interacting with the metals. No interaction means no oxidation or corrosion can happen, which means no loss of conductivity. When a connector is disconnected to apply dielectric grease, what's truly happening is the corrosion and the oxidation are being scraped off by the mere act of disconnecting the connector. This creates a fresh patch of metal eager to conduct. Connectors are designed to have the same parts of metal touch each other consistently. When the greasy connector is reconnected, the dielectric grease is getting scraped out of the way of the metal contact surface, meaning the metal is only touching metal. No grease is involved in the actual contact surface itself. Still not a believer? Keep watching for some practical testing. As seen earlier, this lug nut sits on the aluminum plate. Both metals are conductive, so the meter goes And if I apply dielectric grease to the contact surface and gently set the lug nut on the aluminum plate, there is no current flow and the meter does not beep. Once I start to press down on the lug nut, it pushes the dielectric grease aside and contacts the aluminum plate, allowing the meter to beep. Here's another test. I have this tail light bulb wired up to this 9 volt battery. There is no dielectric grease present. Now I'll put a healthy scoop of dielectric grease on one of the wire ends and gently touch it to the open battery terminal. The light does not light now. Here's a close up. It is only when I push the wire end through the grease and into direct contact with the battery terminal that current is allowed to flow and the light turns on. One final test. I'm setting the greasy brush with excess grease on the plate. Then I take the meter leads after confirming they have a good connection to each other and stick them in the grease. No connection is present until the leads touch each other inside the grease. So what's the moral of the story? Dielectric grease is not conductive itself and only promotes conductivity by eliminating the variables that cause oxidation and corrosion in the first place. My mind's changed. You definitely learn something new every day. Can't let Garrett know that. It'll all go straight to his head. I heard that. Oh, shit.